Hey everybody, welcome back to Hardworking Man. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be doing premium splits for smoker wood from the apple that Heath bucked up the other day using his new saw. It's on a previous video, so if you haven't seen it, go check that out when this one's done. Um, we're not going to worry about making this barkless because the sugar content in the apple bark is actually really great for smoking. So um, I have a tote here behind me that I'm going to stack it all in and then I have this gorilla cart behind me that I'm just going to put the chunks in for our own personal smoking. It's just whatever doesn't make the cut for in the tote. And then we're going to use the branches to do chips out of it later. So this apple tree was a great find that Heath got believe it was off Facebook Marketplace, <laughs> his favorite place. So follow along with me as I split this up using our Easton Made Axis. Heath has the trailer with the truck that he's coming. He's going to unload it and we need this trailer for another job from something he found at an auction that we got to go pick up. So here he comes. Come on. <laughs> this hatchet back end is because when I'm getting wood and I have stuff like this on it, I used to just bludgeon it off with the back of my hookeroon, but now with this, you can just clean it up easy. You don't have those to worry about. This stuff is going to go through the chipper and make smoker chips. And then this is going to be all smoker chunks, so we're going to have a little bit of everything out of this tree. cuts aren't square because this tree was so crooked so I did my best but we should be able to get them good enough to get good splits out of them. Just throw this into there for now and we'll mess with that later. to keep the cleaner stuff we're gonna st stack into there and this stuff we're either gonna make smoker chunks or maybe some applewood charcoal out of it oh man that's a juicy juicy apple right here
So I just got bit. <laughs> it hurt really bad. It's like instant bruise, so I'll show you close up. It happened so fast that I didn't even register, and it took me a minute to get my foot even off the pedal. And I was like, what the, like, just the pain. I didn't know where it was coming from because it wasn't under the blade of, or the, the wedge of the machine. So, uh, word of advice, don't do what I just did. <laughs> but it hurts, it's throbbing. I don't think it's broken, but it's not pleasant. So we'll see how long I last finishing this. Heath might have to take over if it starts bothering me too much, but my nails still look good, right? <laughs> so what happened, I think, is because this isn't a perfect cut and it just kind of slipped and I'm so used to being, keep your hands on the side that I didn't move <laughs> my hand when it was just forcing it down. Kind of silly, but I'm thankful that it was just this wood being pinched down there. I mean, it's not pleasant by any means, but it could have been a lot worse. Now I'm scared. <laughs> now I don't want my hands anywhere near the, this. I'm not messing with. inside. That's so weird to me. Oh, I should have used the lift.
Yeah, I get Ben stung twice today. That one ain't gonna get me. shut it down a little early heat this trying to quickly unload this trailer uh, we got a call from the auction place that they want to close early so come get your stuff now that it's done so try to get this done quick i'm going to help them finish unloading and then we got to go pick up our stuff and we'll we'll, we'll let you follow along we'll, re we'll make a, maybe we'll make a video of seeing what it is heat is adding to our <laughs> household <laughs> Junkyard is what I call it, not him. To our equity, to our equity, man math. If you have man math, it, baby. watch the podcast. <laughs> so we'll be back. Trying to pre-sort this as I go, the stuff we're gonna split versus the stuff we're gonna chip or chunk. I didn't wanna have to throw it off the trailer and then pick it back up off the ground, but it is what it is quite a bit left to split but pretty sure we can get it done when we get back as long as the sun doesn't set all right we're back from picking up the stuff from the auction i don't even know what all he bought i know we filled the trailer full of a bunch of stuff this auction uh has terrible descriptions they sell things without knowing if they run or not there's a lot of random it's anything and everything there's no rhyme or reason it's a lot of, it's all used and it's weird stuff so i don't know what we have yet but we will film it all and uncover there's one really cool thing that heath did get so you're going to want to watch that video so in the meantime we're going to get this set up and finish splitting all this apple so we can get on to doing a delivery it's a busy busy day today
Dominguez again. This is such gnarly wood, goodness gracious. Here, let me try. I've never split apple before. it off. We have two more left that are going to go into the
go. A third of a quart of applewood, two bee stings, one smash finger. That's the first time I've ever split applewood, and it's not that fun to split. No, I thought it was a terrible pain, and I have well, the, literally. the injury to prove it. It just... It's twisty and It's naughty twisty in it. inside. It's super weird. I did not expect that at all. I've never split wood like that. No, but I am super excited. We've got a third of a quart of premium apple wood here. I'm going to write on one of those little white tags. I do hook it to this the day we split it and what the moisture content is just so I can track it. And I don't know if I'm going to sell this or if I'm going to keep it to cook with myself or maybe a little bit of both because apple's hard to come by around here, at least for me. <laughs> I mean, we have a bunch of apple trees we could chop down. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to cut my own apple trees down. <laughs> well, yeah, so it was a little bit of a surprising splitting session. Not my favorite in the books, I no, will it say. it takes a long time because you have to be careful, but we got yeah. it done. And I think it's going to be worth the yeah. effort of getting this. Getting it right before Bunyan, going and cutting it up. Now having to leave in the middle of it to pick up some awesome buys, potentially. Or maybe I got ripped <laughs> off. If you want to find out, make sure you subscribe. Hit the thumbs up because Rachel's a rock star. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. All the literal blood, sweat, and I did shed a tear too. Not going to lie. <laughs> and More. I got stung right here on the face and right on the back yeah. of the neck. The bees, it's a nice day, but the bees are out with a vengeance. I don't know what's up. Maybe it it's wasn't... the apple wood. They love like we cider mills. We were by the wood though. Once I was getting on the four wheeler and once I was back in the woods on the tractor and they got me twice today. So. I don't know, but yeah. So we literally poured our blood, sweat and tears into this video for you. Hopefully you appreciate it. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know if you've split apple wood before. If you had the same experience we did. Maybe yeah. it splits different on a horizontal versus a vertical. Well, and I don't maybe because this was a really old apple tree and it was twisted. Maybe they're not maybe. all like that. So if you've yeah. split apple before, is it twisted and difficult? Yeah. Let us or know your experience. Is it like the maple I split? That's just beautiful. You know, straight grained, <laughs> beautiful wood. You talking about maple? So. <laughs> We appreciate each and every one of you. Please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 8K so we can do a giveaway for you and share with your friends. So thank you everyone again and have a great day.